NATO, NHS and the Lovelock family in Sunning Hill. Hello, I'm mad ex-NATO scientist Robin Lovelock and uh, let's start with a standard introduction for those fortunate enough not to have seen my earlier videos. Uh, this is Robin's Corner with warning signs about our cat our address in Sunning Hill, 22 Armitage Court and this is the spot where GPS was tested from the late 1980s and down the bottom here is my birthday present from June last year which is the lovely bit of garden sculpture yes, lots of stuff June will be going off to tennis with Samantha in their car Yes, lots of promotion of the website, KISS GPS. And that website was business oh, decades ago, but it's now uh, charitable causes. And yeah, a bit more about that in a moment. Um, this is where our cat Toadie hangs out. Warning signs about guard cats. And you can't be too careful. That's also for the cat across the road, Bentley. And basically it's armed mice and a little light which should go on to say that he's in there because he's quite stealthy being black there are you waking up toady okay fair enough have to fix that light anyhow uh yes in the garage is my car good old second hand car very good uh, again c4 gps and I'm not allowed to drive the car uh, because of a mistake at the, or well, multiple mistakes at the TVLA. And at the end, there'll be a, 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 a wind up, a wrap up. Yeah. Uh, yeah, lots of junk here, hobby stuff mostly, and hobbies are a very important part. Um, right. People are saying, when is Robin going to wrap up? Yeah, I'm afraid to cut some other stuff first. So down here, hobbies are very important. And one hobby that has united people from across the world, including, um, believe it or not, America and Russia in these difficult times. Um, united is probably the wrong word. Anyhow, this is Snoopy's robot boat that survived six weeks at sea. And lots of work when Robin has got his friends able to help him with it. Uh, and again, lots of other pages on that. Uh, the camper that was used for taking Snoopy's boat down to the seaside for the launch last year and the battle damage. June said Robin did it. Robin said the wall did it, but the wall is okay. Now we get to the very important thing, which is health and safety. So warning signs have been here for many years about cameras. But it's not just cameras. There are also water squirters. And you have to read the small print about water squirters. They're off to tennis. There we go, got their tennis gear, got the tracker on it. Yes, good. There's the SATCOM tracker. Used on Snoopy's robot boat. So right now, anybody realise they've got it in their car, they're off to tennis at the Royal Ascot Tennis Club. Anybody that knows they've got the tracker in their car uh, can see just by going to the Snoopy page and looking at the tracker. So, enjoy your tennis. Have a good day. <laughs> Close that garage door, I suppose. on in. There we are, we've done the health and safety, so into the house and yes we've got Michelle with us at the moment with her cat lady, uh, gets along okay. Um, yes, lots of usual stuff in here and you'll notice that I sometimes just speak with a smile on my face despite dealing with very difficult subjects and uh, War is not the least, and health is another one. 
and in fact the photo trail that follows uh, you'll get early warning of things that will be happening um, or in the news shall we say yeah a few things on here that are vaguely relevant yeah a pile of Sunday newspapers all of the Sunday newspapers uh, from uh, last Sunday um, not to read but to see who might wish to be contacted if they don't find our press page already that's the website I'll point out because of the topics oops, try not to trip over things uh, yeah so my time in NATO there time working and other things and old soldiers like my father-in-law Jack Ponsford my father lots of other people and that's the old soldiers of all three forces uh, are the subject of my press page which has many soldiers uh, many soldiers many stories and uh, many of them are amusing and interesting for different networks of people um, like the robot boats and lots of other hobbies so uh, right I think that's as much as we've got time for you know probably point out that Re retired happy and spending the kids inheritance and the main thing which I'd like to better do I think I'll show you a glance of it and sometimes we get people to help uh, typical rates believe it or not are between five pound and ten pound per hour um, or they do it completely free. It comes into the category of do-it-yourself SOS, I should think. Uh, Egg Garden, which, yes, a little bit of work needed on that, quite a lot of work, and made good progress earlier in the year and last year, which is to clear space and make places like workshops and things like that for so-called junk. But a lot of the junk is needed for urgent work and that overlaps with charitable work believe it or not so complete mess and what would be lovely is to be able to get the house into the sort of state it was whenever it was 30 years ago or so uh, not long after we were in so I think that's about it the main important thing is that I will be wrapping up this video uh, after the long photo trial with a wrapping up process uh, which was in here and related to suggestions for the DVLA and I won't say much other than the fact that we're about to release more information on that because it's now uh, what is it well over a week since uh, they received copies of the letter and in that period I've received very uh, very good evidence uh, of what's been happening behind the scenes and should have been done. Um, yeah, lots of talking from me, but in a nutshell, when it comes to that, that wrap up at the end, uh, you'll see that I don't want anybody to get uh, into trouble or lose their jobs and that's from the very top of the DVLA down through the various departments. I just want silly little problems fixed and a system en engineer would fix it. <laughs> Systems are about people and procedures as well as things like computers and communications and things. They are. Enough of that. So into that long photo trail. This unrehearsed and unscripted commentary gives a rough idea of what this photo trail is about starting with Michelle in the garden and uh, yeah it looks like she's chatting somebody on the phone looking at it, fixing one of their strimmers and yeah the young and there's John Dr John Raffetto and that was one of the things that was going on the conversations with him about all sorts of things and yeah so there's me relaxing there what's that looking at email so oh yes tracking of uh, where the car's going using the spot tracker to various places like Savile Garden. That was a trip that uh, Michelle and June took. 
and be checking out various trackers that I was using. So that looks like, yeah, there's Lady Michelle's Pussycat and Toadie and his cat fort. And I took a trip to the post office to pick up some forms based on a lead I had. Right, outside the Raj Vuj. Oh yeah, I popped into some other places on that walk. Yeah, hullabaloo. Uh, and uh, yeah, and I also thought, oh, I'll get a rather late uh, anniversary card because June and I both forgot our anniversary because that day was very hectic going up to Coventry and uh, getting her back from hospital there into uh, Friendly Park Hospital and then she got back home after excellent treatment. And there's the tracker that I'm wearing. And there is how you get to the spot trace tracker, which is going to go into Snoopy's boat. But in fact, by just popping it in onto the shelf at the front of June's car, we can see it. Ah, there's Terry, one of the Terrors, <laughs> enjoying ourselves at La Sorrentina. And also, it looks the Comrades Club. And there's where... The tracker says we've been. Ah, oh, yes, that was another thing going on, which was uh, Phil's robot boat getting back to the UK as best it could, and it did. Well, the South Coast. Oh, there's the card. Oh, yes, I added a little to it. So all these things are going on at the same time, and then it turns out that uh, Dick... We're making predictions about what's going to happen based on wind and tide. And so that was being followed. There's my tracker. Go top. And yeah, not all the photographs came out. And that's how anybody can get it off the contact page. And say, oh, there's Robin. He's near home. And then the other tracker, I think we put into June's car. Just sit it on the front shelf. And yes, that light says that Toadie is in his fort. And what else have we got here? Well, the robot boat, that's a background activity, which is how we're going to get somebody to have the time to make several copies of the computer. And yeah, what have we got here? Yeah, that's uh, what the GoTop says there. And there is, uh, there is, <laughs> lots of things all happening pub lunch and the lads leaving Bentley from opposite Toady Pussycats a battery that Stuart gave me put on charge and the strimmer that Terry came to arrangement with me and uh, yes Adam and Fry visited Charters School and another Terry there but I should think yes the Duke or the Duke's Head originally, where June's dad, Jack Ponsford, had his homecoming party during the war. And what else we've got here? Yes, anybody can track Robin. And that shows where I've been, including the Red Lion. And that looks like the Raj Vuj. And that looked like the Comrades Club. And there's communications with Peter of Team Joker and Dick going out in a boat to rescue Phil's boat and that's where Dick got back as seen on his spot tracker and that worked brilliantly and uh, yeah City University message from and there's Bentley at the top of the stairs and Toady down the bottom relaxing Toadie's our cat and Bentley's the cat from opposite. It spends a lot of time getting free food and training. Toadie can be a real nuisance if you're trying to write things in your diary. He decides to play with the pen. Very annoying. So what is this? Yeah. 
oh yes uh, that's fine that's Bruce and messing around with something there oh yes how to charge up one of their spare Chromebooks they've got lots of several of them effectively spare which are intended to loan or give to friends and relatives who wanted to get on the net um, and yeah keeping a record of things uh, what are we doing here uh, I've got to free up some space by the look of it mm, what's that all about China that means probably the go top is from there <laughs> yes and yeah Dr John Raffetto some very interesting conversations uh, and that all followed on from him finding the uh, description about John Maniello uh, that I work for and there was a video chat and that was brilliant an hour's worth of video chat you really get to know somebody very quickly rather than just an exchange of emails or of course it's an alternative to face to face but when the chat is chatting from the other side of the Atlantic it's a practical way of doing things listening to the radio news I should think yes the uh, issue of um, cluster bombs being used and that looks like a walk of Michelle down with the pharmacy for getting some stuff and I used it as a test of my uh, tracker that anybody can see just by tapping on the contact page looks like I did an update yes a significant update to the press page which was uh, simply describe it as old soldiers but these things cross over in terms of uh, Dr John Raffetto you see there and um, the various guys and Vic Piercy uh, amazing guy and then the less serious topics including all sorts of things yes global warming very important subject and uh, um, yeah, that summarizes it but all the detail has been there for years and what have we got here important message from me which is basically I don't spend all the time on the computer if I can get other people to do the work that's brilliant that's what I've been doing for most of my life uh, who's visited the page yeah so what have we got next oh it looks as we're into the evening and Michelle I'm listening to the Radio 4 News and watching the closed circuit TV of the foxes coming for the peanuts and the women are watching I think a thing about sharks on the telly so oh yes there's Michelle's cat lady on the closed circuit TV up to mischief I expect time for a bit of a doze including toady yes the dead mouse is still there um, what have we got now I'm looking a bit serious so what would that be about uh, just looking at something or other well our world news yes okay yeah and oh yes president comes over has a chat with the, the king and I'm now looking in the uh, parish magazine uh, the advert for basically the guy um, able to fix computers typically pensioners make sure they can be on the net and that was well worth following up because I'd like that business to continue there and the more people that enter that business the better um, different different markets for it some pensioners won't get stuff unless it's really really cheap well, if they've already got it fine just case of making sure it's working so yeah there's air pond and there's Michelle's cat lady prowling around the pond there's the present I got for my birthday and various things around the pond you would have seen that in uh, various other tour videos and but these stills give you a trace so that's the mower or rather not the mower the that didn't work and there's the one that does work that Terry brought over 
and we did the deal and then of course that goes in the right place so we've got lots of places now to put stuff the garden stuff is relatively easy because you can say oh yeah that's the sort of place you can put whatever but some stuff isn't quite so obvious and the main thing is to this oh yeah that's a uh, the um a, a, got a use for a battery at least a temporary one that Stuart gave me which is to effectively trickle charge a low voltage battery which is again solar powered so uh, right there's the pussycats up the mischief there's me putting on that battery to make sure that it'll be okay and also test it and in fact it was perfectly good and what are we up to now oh you're showing all the junk in the garage because that is again a part of the house that has just accumulated stuff over the years now I'm taking the battery round on the table to remember that that's uh, a job to be done and putting things back in their normal place like the dangly stick that Michelle was playing with it's to stop the singing and dancing pussycat from Rome which needed batteries uh, to um, stopping it falling down if it gets knocked off the cat platform looking around basically showing all the junk but important junk that is used like tools and things when we've got something that stops working it's all a matter of uh, very carefully putting stuff in the right place and that late time and help very much help handyman type help handymen with good common sense to say, ah, oh, yeah, if you're going to have a drawer, rather than just the name of what the stuff is, perhaps a picture. So anybody who doesn't know what that thing is would get a better idea by looking at the picture. And, of course, the computer and electronics within the robot boat is an important thing. Because if we delay it too long before doing the work that's got to be done... and that includes rebuilding the uh, computers, I've got plenty of components now, then uh, we'll be running rather late. Oh yes, the bat wood that Richard gave us, yes, it could be burnt, but it's also nice old wood that for various things. Cameras, lots of webcams that need to be got working again where they're unreliable, or just simply make sure that the vegetation isn't hiding them. And back inside, yes, the closed circuit TV, we've got wired cameras as well as the web cameras. Um, and there's Toadie and the bridge area. And where are we now? Yeah, and so looks like Michelle is off with June somewhere. That's the Spot Satcom's tracker that is going to go into the boat, but for the moment, we just pop it in the June's car and so we're doing two things basically it's convenient to know where they are um, I got somewhere safely and when they might be leaving but also it's just in the tracker itself and there's the bit of card sculpture excuse me while I cough <coughs> right a movement alert it comes in as an email which we hear which says they've moved from wherever they were before and that's showing them probably on the journey. Oh, that's different stuff now. That is showing... Ah, on the Snoopy page is where you tap or click to get the spot tracker. That picture didn't come out. And there we go. And that shows them at Savile Garden uh, and where it's parked exactly in the car park. And that worked brilliantly. Then that message, tracking is caring, is a slogan for the other type of tracker. Uh, and there was a bit of confusion there and then I realised that the data gets delayed before it comes through and when it comes through that's fine and it's the same sort of tracker as the blue uh, pocket cam camera as I called it so there's in more detail of where they are and looks like I'm chatting to somebody yes it's Paul and <laughs> some old videos that have been on the bottom of the job and page for some time. I hasten to add I was smoking a cigar, even though I'm not allowed them in the house. And so 
Samantha kindly said, oh, we'll drop me over to uh, Chobham, uh, where I understood Paul would be. And, uh, of course, while that's going on, uh, June and Michelle are walking around Savile Garden. So then I had a very interesting uh, process of finding out where he was. And, um, but it was had its benefits. I was speaking to people I hadn't spoken to before, like neighbours who lived walking around uh, and uh, anybody who's interested would know, yeah, they, that's where Robin is. And by now it looks as though I've, um, I'm have i walking out towards the Red Lion at Chobham. Uh, and that was lovely, the time I spent there. Uh, Red Lion at Chobham, not to be confused with the Red Lion at Lightwater which is a lovely pub. They're both nice pubs, but different sort of pubs. And, of course, you chatted with the people there. Lovely doggy. Dudley is the name. Reminded me of Dudley Moore. And so, yes, we had a lovely time there. And looking at the time, make a phone call again, yes, to Michelle, uh, and saying, yeah, you'd like it to check in, the look at the fishes. If they want to stay for... Uh, refreshments or a meal then they would be very welcome and I just enjoyed the time there waiting and chatting to people but I took a few pictures there to show what the place was like and there they are, they arrived and in fact they went round the back of the car park at the back and on the way back June swung into the filling station in order to do a bit of shopping in Londis which I think was some food that Michelle wanted and a few other odds and ends get home and yes is the pussycat there probably but, uh, let's have a look yes the lights on so he must be there yes asleep inside his fort and yes I also came back with a copy of every Sunday newspaper that was there uh, may seem a bit strange but good use for that which is not so much to read them all unless somebody says oh take a look at that more important to see what articles have been written by what journalists who might be worth somebody contacting. So that's where they've been put for the moment. And yeah, having a bit of refreshment. There's my tracker. And then we're checking. Yes, it was all working. It showed places I'd been. And yeah, around Chobham and places. And where I'd stopped and spent time, including over at Chobham, walking around Chobham, and and then walking back. So that would be walking back to the Red Lion, I should think. Yes, there we are, the Red Lion at Chobham. And so that is showing the overall journey. And where was Harry's contact page and that little black pendant tracker. And there we are. Now, there was that was playing up there, but then it depends on which way round. So, yes, if you can see the button, then it's going to get a decent signal because there's an antenna inside that, and it needs to see the sky and the satellites. That's the spot tracker, which you get to off the Snoopy page, and pointing on the Snoopy map, and then you can look at where it's been all day, where it's been in the last hour. Or where it is now so that shows looking back after the event at where they went including places like Savile Garden and that was working fine then got some communication uh, from uh, my friend Pete Wilson over in the States who took the photographs at our wedding and uh, so we've got a few pictures here just of their 50th anniversary including friends from various places and uh, yeah, conversations with uh, Dr. John Raffetto and the, the mouse, yes, still there. And Samantha and June, yes, playing games and watching tennis, of course. So Robin does his usual thing of taking the food into the lounge so he can sit there. And in fact, the news was on because the Ladies join there. 
and yes the mouse is still there it go sooner or later I suppose oh watch the hedgehog coming for the peanuts went outside took a flash photograph of it and yes yeah, there's the fox cub We've got another generation of foxes coming along and they like the peanuts too and sometimes they share them at the same time as the hedgehog there's the robot boat there's some notes and uh, the magazine very very good that uh, that type of business uh, as I say some people um, uh, different markets uh, that's, that's putting it simply and right so that's probably a visit over the chat and what are we doing now oh yes uh, the conversations oh you've got suit things all going on in parallel <laughs> that's a trip to the Sun Cafe um, probably with Malcolm I suspect uh, not sure my memory's that good no uh, looks as though I took a trip to the post office and what we got here yes how to get on into us uh, it's in communications with Alan with two L's working for Gotop in Shenzhen who uh, basically sold me some of the trackers and I, I've been checking out there's the spot trace uh, that would be going into the boat of the moment is in the car June's car oh there's Terry <laughs> one of the two Terry's and there's Bruce in the back and we're off somewhere uh, not sure where that is uh, oh yes we, we did swing past places like Ascot Hardware middle of Ascot yes, uh, yes I got some stuff there not least some uh, a USB stick and uh, peanuts I think and one or two other things yeah so that's how do you get to the tracker that Robin's wearing the go top I call it a pocket power because they're very similar products for years but earlier we use is essentially a different supply and they we don't know with the testing whether it's uh, a lot better but the main thing it the main thing that makes it better is that uh, you don't have to have the application as uh, to uh, anybody could see it if you put the link there's me hanging out uh, on the bench uh, in memorial to Tom Green and noticing that signs are covered by vegetation which isn't very good if they're advertising signs uh, and certainly not if they're showing you how to get somewhere there's Myrtle Cottage that uh, yeah the people well and making way back to where the J three J's was and it's now J's court and June is picking me up uh, difficult to remember oh yes that's it yes Terry and I decided to have something in the thatched tavern lovely pub and also brought back some uh, history of the place as well uh, on paper you probably find it on their website as well but uh, it was good to see it for real and that looks as though we're probably June has picked us up and we're going back yes back home and what we got here yes lights on saying that Toadie's in his fort and ah now Terry and I are chatting to uh, Kay uh, wife of Steve again friends from way back who was on television with the Spitfire and of course very interested in that uh, and uh, Terry was playing videos of the Spitfire as we were chatting and afterwards um, so what else NATO with uh, Samantha yes there's an interesting story old soldiers including uh, Annette is uh, James Lovelock global warming that must be getting near the end of it, I think. I warned you it would be a long photo trail, very confusing, but um, on particular topics, somebody is saying, ah, oh, was I in there? Or what about that subject? And then I can just say, oh, i just go to so many minutes through the trail. Um, right. There's a snapshot of our pond, loads of work 
to be done again with the right handyman work like the pump, pump has packed up um, yes it's had a slow leak everything's getting overgrown oh lots of things there we go decoration so that's just the easy work garden stuff yes other trails have shown this but this is a snapshot of the garden work half completed yeah the gunner here coming up nicely so, uh, sorry gunner uh, I nearly said gunner here didn't I sorry about that um, yeah and this is the sort of work that for example Paul from Chobham uh, was able to help me with until he had his problems kick in really hard uh, which is practical things for that as it happens this shed was put up by Jude himself uh, for uh, I can hear a text coming in and I think I know who that might be and that's an urgent thing to reply to it might be one of the handymen uh, right is the lab and here's where we can put garden tools and things workshop that's it that's a quick tour for that as I say what would be lovely if we can get ourselves as soon as possible with paid labor I suppose but it's more than labor it's uh, somebody with a bit of common sense and there are a few people like that but they usually correspond with people that have got problems right so now I guess it is into the clip that was shot in here and uh, see how it goes in clip where I speak in detail the key thing is the DVLA driver vehicle licensing agency collects a lot of money for the UK government and of course they use a lot of money for what they have to do which is issue driving licenses and also for licensing of cars and vehicles so let's run into that back in 2012. It's already been tested over 5,000 miles on the lake in Berkshire. The model will be steered and tracked through a satellite system and by Snoopy, of course, and it should make the crossing in six months, if it survives, that is. The most important thing of the lot, of course, is Snoopy the Viking, the skipper. I don't think he'd make it otherwise. We've also got another bit and piece here. This is a GPS logger that logs the position every 15 minutes. For that was back in 2012. Um, the guide the that put this material together, including live broadcast and what went up on the BBC website, is Ben Moore. Right, on to the next topic. Right. Now, I'm going to do this all in one take. Um, all re unrehearsed and unscripted, so sorry about that. Uh, what I'd like to happen, if anybody picks up on the uh, DVLA story, is, as I say, nobody getting into trouble, and that is a, that's a genuine request, but when they, they find flaws in procedures where they don't cover certain things, be good if those are fixed. What I think would be useful uh, for anybody looking at the DVLA and then perhaps helping them, is first of all their organization chart show, showing the structure yes it's well known who the head of the DLA remarkable woman looking at her CV um, and relevant to this story is uh, the head of the health part but it would be very useful to see even if names aren't attached obviously the names can be attached where they're public already is 
how many people in each branch, how many people are reporting to how many. Uh, so a simple tree would help. I suggest that first of all. Then perhaps even more important is how many people working for the DVLA, even if you don't identify the individuals, are salaried by the DVLA <coughs> excuse me, directly as opposed to contracted through an agency or a business. That is very important and we've seen what's been happening in places like the NHS for years. Um, so that comes into the equation in terms of whether money is well spent and of course the TVLA collects a lot of money. Um, and there are probably other things as well. But as a starting point I'd hope anybody that responds to this uh, I can't afford to get overloaded. We've got other things to do, many other things to do. Uh, and we'll be taking a holiday. That would be public, yes. <laughs> uh, I'm tracked everywhere by different things. And in fact, if anybody's paranoid about it, uh, anybody who's tracking somebody or looking at somebody's probably seen <laughs> already. Um, but at the end of the day, uh, there's me wittering on, which is one of my main weakness since I was a little little child. That's why if you put things up clearly be careful what you put up and uh, often it can do some good. I'm now in the kitchen and June's rustling up some food in a microwave for Samantha. The microwave was invented by James Lovelock if you didn't know and here's Samantha and of course, there's tennis on the television, just for a change. So, oh, yes, point out, holidays in si We're going off to Sicily again soon. And into the hall. Yes, nice expensive paintings here. Yep, expensive little pocket camera. <laughs> Not expensive. And through into the lounge and out to wrap up this video by saying look after yourselves stay safe and enjoy what days we have